Hey guys, so I missed another day and I have a good excuse. It was Father's Day and I was out all day on the boat. That's again, you can see, I got really sunburned. Um, and I came home, I had uh, uh, one of my Atkins drinks and I sat down on my chair to watch TV and I woke up at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I, I fell asleep, it was probably around 8 o'clock, I don't m remember. My wife said she came out to check on me at 9 and I was knocked out. So it was a really long day and um, in the sun and everything and I just, I fell asleep. So normally I do my videos at night and I slept through it, so I'm sorry. Um, I actually had nothing to report, <laughs> so you didn't miss anything. But today I do, today I do. Today is five weeks since I had my surgery. Five weeks. It's amazing that time is flying so fast. I'm losing weight like crazy. Um, and I threw up again. Um, I went to Publix, my grocery store today, um, and they make really good uh, prepared food. And one of the things I used to always get before the surgery was I used to get their spare ribs. They're like, uh, their pork ribs. And there's smoked and no sauce on them or anything and they're amazing so I went there I saw them I, I said I'll take two ribs the guy looked at me like I was crazy two ribs it's not a lot of food so I got them home and I went to eat them and they weren't soft they weren't like fall off the bone so I'm like yeah it's okay I'll just chew them up it didn't work that way um, you know I thought I would just chew them down so they were nothing and then swallow it but after 10 minutes, I had that lump up in my chest. Like it was like the food was right here. Um, I started to get the sweat. I, I honestly, it was almost exactly like the feeling I had when I woke up after my surgery where I was full of gas. Like they, they fill up your stomach oh. with gas. Stop, man. They fill up your stomach with gas to, to make sure you're not leaking. And then as well, they fill up your abdominal cavity so that way they can get more access and move around in there and see better with their scopes. So you wake up and you're just really uncomfortable. There's a ton of pressure um, and you feel like you have to burp the biggest burp and there's no relief, none. You just have to walk around and around and around until it goes away and it took like two days. Um, anyway, that's how I felt uh, earlier today. Um, so I'm like, I can't, you can't drink anything. It's like immediately I'm, I'm dying inside. So I sit down in my chair and I'm trying to just relax. And all of a sudden I got the slimy mouth thing, you know, when you're about to throw up and I barely made it to the bathroom. I threw up this little, it was like, I realized how little I eat by how much I threw up. It was like nothing and I felt better immediately. So um, I am learning in the very hardest of ways that my stomach is just not ready for meat. I have tried um, really soft, I've tried you know, this experiment. Um, lunch meat was the only other time that I really got so full that I felt like I was gonna throw up. Um, I had two really thin slices of ham and a protein shake and it was like, forget about it. So, um, I am I'm learning day by day that, you know, I am still a long way away from, from uh, eating anything that's meat, which, you know, is like the thing you, you crave because it's the one thing I used to always eat. I used to love steak. I see steak at, I, I do marketing for a restaurant. I go in there all the time. I had to go take pictures of steaks tonight. Um, and I'm taking the pictures and I'm like, wow, that, that, ribeye looks great, that prime rib looks great, but the thought of it, the thought of putting that in my mouth, oh my god, no way, no how, I, I just the thought of that makes me nauseous, so not going to happen, um, but that's about it, and I thought I'd show you my scars at five weeks, it's like nothing, right, one here, one here, those are my two main ones, those are the ones that that hurt the most when I had them, when I first got them, and they dimple when I, if like if I flex, 
they kind of dimple. I have one over here that's completely gone, one over here that's gone, and one up here that's gone. So it's just these two. The hair is not completely grown back where it was trimmed to put a bandage on it. So there you have it. Um, I appreciate your feedback and your comments and liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it very much. Um, everybody at Be Lightweight has been amazing. To this day, five weeks, they've had my money for more than a month and they're still uh, keeping up with me, checking in on me, texting me. Um, you know, you can't ask for more than that. So, again, I've said it a million times, if you're going to do this, if you're thinking about doing it, you obviously need it. Nobody would think for one second about having their stomach get cut out unless they're a fatso who has very little hope in actually getting it under control on their own. So, you know, hit up Be Lightweight, Jamie or Joanne, amazing people, amazing service. Uh, the website's right on the screen. So, uh, do it. You know, I've, I've lost 75, 77 pounds um, as of today. So, and lots of inches. Like, my wife is like, we have to get you new shirts because you look ridiculous. Your shirts are way too big. You look like a homeless person. And then she goes, you actually look like a teenager trying to dress in saggy clothes. And that, once she said that, I'm like, oh, God, okay, we, we got to get some new clothes. So I might get a couple t-shirts, buy them a little, you know, little small cheapos, Walmart or something. Because now I, I was always like 3X, 4X, 5X, as harsh as that is to say. So that's kind of awesome. I'm still over 300 pounds, so it's not like I'm, I'm trying to say I'm skinny. But clothes are actually fitting where I don't have to go to the the big and tall store, which is a great step for me. So anyway, have a good night. I will see you tomorrow and uh, five weeks later, man, kicking ass. Have a good one.